Hey friends, I'm Pastor Joe. Today is Wednesday and I have your word for the day. Do you know a one-upper in your life? Do you tell a joke and they always have to one-up it? Maybe you tell a crazy story about something that happened to you, then they one-up it. You talk about your destination over Thanksgiving, they one-up it. The religious leaders of Jesus' day like to play little games to test each other's Bible knowledge. And sometimes this game was played in good humor. Other times the questions were designed to humiliate another by one-upping them with knowledge. The reason why the Pharisees and Sadducees often asked Jesus questions was to try to make him look dumb and stupid in front of his disciples and discredit his ministry. But in Mark chapter 12, verses 35 through 37, Jesus turned the table. Growing tired of being asked to prove that he was the Messiah, Jesus won up the Pharisees. Let's read about that in Mark 12, verse 35 through 37. Later, as Jesus was teaching the people in the temple, he asked, Why do the teachers of religious law claim that the Messiah is the son of David? For David himself said, speaking under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit in the place of honor at my right hand, until I humble your enemies beneath your feet. Since David himself called the Messiah my Lord, how can the Messiah be his son? The large crowd listened to him with great delight. Is he really the Messiah, the descendant of David and Lord? He asked the question in a fashion to fit their usual method of trying to stump the rabbi. While they could not catch Jesus with a mistake or a bad answer to their question, Jesus completely stumped them with his. So what does that mean for us today? The clear implication in the process was this. Jesus is master of the scriptures because he's not only a great teacher, but also the Messiah, the son of David, Lord, and God's son. You know what that means for you and I today? Jesus can be trusted with our lives. We can trust him. He's the master of all of scripture and he's the master of your life. If today's word for the day has blessed you, like it, share it, apply it, and leave a comment. God bless.